Look, look at how pretty this is. This was a real impulse purchase. I didn't need another pen, but I don't know. I just really like this one. So I guess now I have another pen. But I have reviewed a lot of different inks, so maybe a new pen was exactly what I needed. Hello there, and welcome back to whatever it is I feel like doing this week. This is a really busy month, like a really busy month. October is just the busy season for goths. It just is. Everything is happening this month. Starting with the last weekend of last month, which was MCM Expo, and if you've seen my vlog of that, you will see you will have seen that I worked both days of MCM Expo and I had an early start and a late night both days. And during that weekend at the expo I bought this pen, among other things. Even though I've been reviewing a lot of pens and different inks, I'm not doing Inktober because I just don't have time. I just don't have time. I mean, I'll probably do some sketches like I always do and maybe at the end of the month I'll do a video on all the stuff I drew during October. Just a little sketchbook tour or something. But I'm not doing Inktober. I'm not gonna try and force myself to draw with ink every day because I'm already drawing every day. I'm already busy this month. I'm just not doing it. I have forgotten the name of the company I bought this from. I don't remember what the stall was called or what the company that owned the table was called. I'm fairly sure this isn't like a unique item. You can probably buy the exact same thing online in a few different places, but there's something nice about buying a thing in person and supporting someone that's sort of at the same event as you and doing the same thing, you know? It's just, it's a nice thing to do and I love this. So you can see it comes with six different pen nibs. I'm counting the five down the side and the one that's already attached. The person running the stall gave me these two little free inks when I bought my pen. So I'm going to test these with the various nibs. They're both shimmery. This one's purple. With gold ink. Gold ink, gold glitter. It's purple ink with gold glitter. And this one is green ink with green glitter. So I'll test both of these with the various pen tips I got. Like I said, it comes with six different pen tips. The one that's already in it, which is a sort of traditional pointed pen. And then it has five extra ones of varying flatnesses. I don't know what the technical term for that is. I actually don't know much proper terminology at all. I'll test out all of them for you and just show you how they work. Some of my other pens are really hard to take the tip out of and sometimes I have to grab them with tweezers because otherwise like they cut into your fingers and it really hurts. They're good pens but they're sharp, you know. Fortunately, this one just slipped out really easily. So, let's test out all these different nibs. We'll use... Maybe I'll use some different inks. Maybe I won't. We'll see. And I'll show you how each of them works with this pretty pen. All the detailing on it is just so extra. It's just exactly my aesthetic. I love... I just love this so much. Like I said, it was a complete impulse purchase. I just saw it and had to buy it, really. And then I will draw something with this. I don't know what I'm going to draw exactly. I was considering drawing a little self-portrait of the outfit I was wearing when I bought this. But, um... I still feel a little weird about drawing myself. I'm not sure why exactly. I just... It feels weird somehow. Even though it's not like I'm drawing... It's not like I'm really drawing myself. I'm just drawing the same outfit I had on, but on a generic character. 
Although I do plan on doing a lot of artwork of the card suit characters I did lookbook videos of last year. Um, I don't know if you have seen them, if not you can watch those next. But I did a king and queen of each card suit and I have a lot of artwork planned in my head for those and I'm probably going to do that at some point over the winter. Because to me that doesn't feel like doing a self-portrait because those are like characters, they're not me. Do any of you feel like that? Any of you out there that draw? Do you feel weird about drawing yourself or something that's based on yourself? Because I don't know if I don't know if that's a normal thing or not. I'm sure I'll get over it. I did do the opposite once. I dressed up as a painting that I'd already done. That was fun. So I've done the opposite of a self-portrait. Let me know what your plans are for Halloween, or rather for all of October. Is this busy season for you? Do you have a lot of events coming up? Because goodness knows I do. So you'll have a lot of vlogs to watch if you subscribe to my channel. <laughs> hint, 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 hint. If you support me on Patreon, you might have not seen that I have a Vimeo account now. I'm going to be posting my oil painting videos on Vimeo from now on, rather than here on YouTube. I kind of want to separate out just all my art stuff with my sort of fashion and more personal things, I guess. Is that what I mean? Hmm. I'll still do a lot of art on here because it's what I do. It's my kind of my whole thing. But like oil paintings and like especially still life stuff and studies of flowers and things that don't really go with this channel, I'm going to post on Vimeo instead. I mean, if you like those videos and want to keep up with them, leave me a comment and let me know that I should not do that. But also let me know if you think it's a great idea because I have noticed that um, my oil paintings and any artwork that isn't directly related to like alternative fashion isn't really as popular so I thought I might as well just move it, make it its own thing and then any artwork that's like illustrations and things that are you know to do with this fashion that I wear and like drawings of Lolitas and stuff, I'll still put on this channel because it's relevant. And obviously product reviews because that's what YouTube is for now, isn't it? Product reviews. And I don't really get to review a lot of makeup because I keep my makeup for ages. I don't like to have a huge collection of it. The thing I buy the most of is art supplies. <laughs> That's what I get excited about too. I think there's only so many different red eyeshadows you can review in the world, you know? Anyway, like I said, thank you for being here. Please support me on Patreon if you feel if you feel like it. If you have an extra dollar a month and want to support me with it, I would appreciate every penny. And if you don't want to, don't worry about it. You don't have to. I'm still going to make plenty of free content for you. Okay, thank you for being here. Bye!